guys, Greg C96 here with the MHC 2017 April player update number six. So, this is my second take recording this. It's probably going to go a little quick because I already know what I want to say. Um, my lighting was all off in the first take, so I'm doing it again because perfectionist. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. I'm not a perfectionist. It just looked like garbage. But that's okay. It's fixed. So we got a couple of people, four to be specific, who have not posted their episode six yet. Those folks is Cash Getting Valen over at Mischief of Mice, uh, Taylor the Pig, New Azusa, and Java Dad. But Java Dad was letting us know in the Discord that there was a good chance that he would not be able to post because his PC happens to not like coffee as much as him. <laughs> But let's get going. We're going to start here. And uh, first up, we got Nobody's LP and All The Way J. So I got an answer to my question of why they would want to bring all those cows back. And that's because they want sustainable milk. They don't just want one-time milk. They want sustainable so they can build an ecosystem around it. Uh, they spent like literally half of the episode working on getting those cows back. Uh, so I hope it was worth it. I have my suspicions, though. And they did some farming type stuff, and generally just ran around a lot in the episode. Uh, next up, we got Outfoxed, who worked more on his treehouse slash observatory type of thing. Um, it's coming along nicely, and did a fair bit of mining at the end, trying to just grab more resources as much as possible. Next up, we got Granny's Got Game. She started the episode with some nice door struggles, because as we all know who have tried to place down doors, sometimes they have a mind of their own and don't play by no rules. Um, but she eventually got it going. She did some more work on that lower platform while she was waiting for her tree to grow. Um, she did, in fact, determine that her platform is safe, which is cool. I wasn't quite so sure, but mobs can't get up on it, so she is pretty safe. And her day six, it seemed like it ran a little bit long, kind of like with uh, Tim on day one. Her night cycle seemed like it was like 15 minutes as opposed to 10. So that was some weirdness. Um, then we got Honeysuckle, who did a bit of Lumberjack. Uh, pff, words are hard. Uh, lumberjacking at the top of the episode, she mined quite a lot. And she has plans to make a treehouse and did some uh, did some resource gathering for that. Wow. Um, so she has quite a bunch of oak and she's just waiting for her waiting for her jungle tree to grow up in order to do that. Next up we got Tim, aka Captain Hook 5150. Uh, he built himself a nether portal, got a bunch of glowstone, made some concealed lights with that glowstone by hiding it behind leaves, and he learned that leaves can be placed underwater. Uh, next up, we got John Fall 92. Um, he finally used those fancy stairs. Good on you, John. <laughs> Called me out on making fun of him for it, too. Specifically, he used his stairs just so I couldn't make fun of him for not using his stairs again. But he gave me just another couple of things to make fun of him for. So you thought you were safe? No, John, you were not. Uh, he watched a serial-killing ocelot take out a bunch of chickens and did absolutely nothing. You, sir, are a monster. <laughs> uh, made a bed that he, quote, won't ever sleep in, because, of course, that is against the rules of the challenge. Uh, did some fishing. Overall, did a bunch of aesthetical work on the house. And we learned from him. Apparently, jungle cows are much like hippopotamus. They do like to hang in the water. And at the very end of the episode, found some mushrooms up in a tree, which was pretty weird. Next up, we got the original, uh, original Junior. He's streaming the last few episodes while recording. Um which I say good on you there. It's a lot of fun. Um, he had posted episode 6, and when I went to go watch episode 6, he was actually live with 7 and 8. And I really wished I could have gotten over to watch, but I was unable to, alas. Um, he also waited two weeks since the last time he touched the world, so he was a little lost and confused at the start. Um, he's working on resource gathering for the jetpack, so the jetpack plan is back in action, which is cool. I want to see him get it. And he went back to the nether. Uh, which I was not sure if he was planning on doing after the last time we saw him, because it looked like he was trying to put out his portal. Uh, next up, Grandma's Gone Gaming. God, she just keeps going. She refuses to settle down and start, I guess, thriving. Uh, but she wants to find another temple and find as many as possible. So, I mean, hey, that's a, that's a good goal. Um, but she ended the episode with a little text description uh, alluding to a very early Day 7 death. So we'll have to see what happens there. 
Next up, we got our old buddy Dadcraft73. He updated to the newest snapshot. It didn't seem to make too many differences yet. Um, I'm not really sure what the difference is between the last snapshot and the newest one, so maybe I just didn't notice. Uh, he made his hut less claustrophobic by taking out some of the ceiling a little bit, making it a little taller inside. Uh, harvested his wheat, did some sailing, and ended the episode by finding a jungle temple. Next up, we got Load Central. They also posted their episode 5 yesterday. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were doing it, so I didn't budget the time for it. So everyone, go make them feel better and go watch it. But that's okay, I think that uh, leads quite nicely into some of the conversations from episode 6. Uh, one of which they were talking about at the start of the episode, how no one watches their videos. <laughs> so, yeah. But I watched. It's my job this month. <laughs> uh, talked about porcupines and recording issues of all Creed and color. And last but not least, we have myself, and I did a stupid... Um, I fell off my bridge when I was building it. I was shifting, and I forgot about... It's not so much the problem of shifting off of half slabs that killed me. It was I shifted... I was shifting backwards, and because you can shift off of a half slab onto another slab, or another block, um, I shifted backwards off that block, and because I was kind of going back at an angle, because I was pointed inwards to be placing fences, I was able to slide myself over, past the block, fall down, and by the time I realized I was falling, it was just about in time to hit a tree, and I died of fall damage on day six. So, I did not make it. Um, I think, actually, I was the only death on day six, so, yeah, an early death like usual for me. But, that's all I got for this one. Like the video, dislike it, do whatever, comment down below, things, stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you're still in the mood to watch some more, why don't you check out one of these previous videos here? Or, if you want to watch more later, but not right now, that's cool, too. If you click on one of my lovely pieces of wall art here, you can either subscribe to myself or to the Big Box of Gamers channel. Just make sure after you subscribe, you click that little bell notification icon there to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.